What's up everybody, it's John here from VidGamingAct.com. Here we are today back in the Contraptions Workshop DLC for Fallout 4, grabbing the Mass Production Achievement. This is to craft 100 items using builders. Once you start the DLC, you want to hold the back button to go into your build menu. Go into Power, and you should have a new category called Manufacturing. Go in there and go into Machinery. Your first option is going to be called the Builder. You need to build this to get this achievement. I recommend building at least a couple though. I built four, so I recommend having about three to four. That will save you a bunch of time because this will make things a hell of a lot more efficient. So build four and put a space between them. Or if you're in a wide open area, you can build them in like a square. So uh, just have them uh, spread around, but uh, close um, by each other. Alright, so you're going to need a bunch of materials, obviously, for this achievement, because you need to build all of these, but they also require generators. So, go back into your build menu, go into power, and then go into generators. Each one's going to require about three generators worth of power, so uh, build them between them, and then you have to hook up three generators to each builder, which uh, is going to cost a lot more materials. So, have a bunch of materials on hand, stuff like copper, circuitry, gears stuff to uh, build electronics basically. So uh, if you're low on materials, I recommend hitting up your local junk surplus supply store and just stocking up on stuff, especially if you have a ton of money and nothing to spend it on. So just buy a bunch of materials and then take them back to your home base and scrap them for parts. All right, once you have all your generators built, you want to hook them up via wires to the builders. Each one takes three, so depending on how many you have, you're going to need three generators each. Once again, I recommend building three to four just to save time once we get the achievement rolling. All right, now we need some more materials, so we're going to head back to Diamond City and then head to the marketplace. Go to the surplus store and then talk to either the woman who works in the day or the robot who works at night. And the item you want to look for is going to be the shipment of steel. It's going to be in the junk category. I recommend buying one per machine, so if she doesn't have enough, you can always wait and then come back a couple of days later when she restocks her supply. Alright, so once you have those, go back to your base, and now you need to build terminals. So this is under power and miscellaneous. So one terminal can actually control all four, but depending on your placements, you might have to build more. So I had to build two just because the wires were too short. So I built two, and I ran um, two machines per terminal. So you have to hook up the generators to the terminal because they require one thing of power. But since the builders only require eight, and it's three generators per builder, we have one leftover power supply, which we can use to hook up the terminal. Then you want to attach a wire from the terminal to each of the builders. So uh, a terminal can power every single builder, but then you have a limit on the length of the wire. So connect the terminal to as many builders as you can. So as you can see here, I connected one to two. And then what you want to do is you want to hit up the terminal and then go inside the menu. Using the terminal will allow you to select what item the builders make. Otherwise, the builders would just spit out random items. So the thing you want to build is going to be the steel ball. And it's going to cost you five steel each um, ball. But uh, this is probably the most efficient item to build, simply because you can just buy a huge surplus of steel from... Uh, one of the surplus stores. You could buy them in packs of 100 for only about 360 caps, which isn't too bad. Then what you want to do is you want to go to each of your builder and then put one of the shipments of steel in, which is good for 100 pieces of steel, which will build about 20 balls each. So you need 100, obviously, so you might want to have to uh, build five of the builders, but that's only if you have enough materials. Once again, recommend about three to four, depending on how well stocked you are. But uh, anyways, you can just shove them all in there, and all you have to do now is just play the waiting game. So the builders will just spit out whatever item you told them to build through the terminal, and if you didn't build any terminals, they'll just spit out random items based on whatever materials you put inside. So all you have to do is just wait here. If you have one builder, it's going to take about an hour to get the achievement. If you have about three to four, it might take about uh, 10 to 15 minutes or so. 
And another cool trick is whatever product they spit out, you can put back in the machine to recycle the materials. So even if you don't have like 500 steel, you can always just reuse the balls and it should spit out the same amount of materials. And all I have to do is just play the waiting game. And once you build enough uh, steel balls and the machines stop spitting them out, you can always pick them up and then put them back in the machines. Once again, this will um, save us a bunch of materials and recycling is uh, good for the world, even the Fallout world. So just going to pick up all of the steel balls and then we're going to shove them back into the machine and then build more steel balls which seems a little counterproductive but it will get us the achievement while saving us a lot of money. So just uh, put the balls inside. Obviously you want to split them up per machine just to get the most efficiency out of each machine. So just keep putting them in and once you hit 100 steel balls you should get the achievement 20 gamer score and that's all there is to it